Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're good. We're in a slightly different position today. About six or seven months ago, I did a random colour recommendation video and I had such fun doing it. And somebody commented on it recently and it reminded me of it. And I was like, I really want to do that again. So here we are. We're doing round two. This is inspired by a video that I saw on Silka's channel, the Danish Readaholic. So I will link her video down below as well as the other round of this that I did. But basically, all we're doing is we go to randomcolor.com, we generate a colour, I'm going to find a book with that on it, and I'm going to recommend it to you. It's, it's a very basic premise, but it is good fun for me. <laughs> so we won't start with the first one, so we'll give it a refresh. Ooh, okay, so it kind of looks yellow on there, but it is kind of like an orange. Maybe it won't in... I was going to say in post, <laughs> in edit, but... <laughs> In post. Okay, it's orange. It's orange. Orange. Orange? Oh. I need a stool. Does that work? I'm going to say that works. Okay, so this is the colour. And there is definitely shades of orange. Shades of orange. And his hair. His hair! His hair is almost perfectly that colour where you just can't tell because it's... Right, so this is in Deeper Waters by F.T. Lukens. Now, I have spoken about F.T. Lukens quite a bit on the channel, but we're going to do it again. <laughs> Me and Becca from the Becca File absolutely love F.T. Lukens, and we always buddy read their books when they come out, and we just have the best time. <laughs> we talk about it all the time. <laughs> but F.T. Lukens writes these kind of, like, really comforting, cosy, like, fantasies, but they still have stakes. It's kind of like their romance with fantasy elements and stakes, but you kind of know what you're getting into and it's just such a good time. In Deeper Waters is about this prince who has magic in a world where it's kind of like uh, untrusted and he goes on his coming of age tour and he finds this mystery guy and shenanigans happen and it's adorable. Okay, our second colour. Is that like a, that's a pink, that's like a dark pink, a, a pinky purple. It's almost in exactly that colour, but I haven't read that, so I can't, I can't recommend that. Hmm. I can't decide whether this is purple or pink, you know. On there it looks pink. So I should go for a pink. I do have pink books. That's way off. Do you know what, sod it. <laughs> it's not really the right shade, uh, but I'm gonna use it as an excuse just to show off my favorite edition of Frankenstein again. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed with this edition. I'm a little bit obsessed with this book. So up until like two years ago, I hadn't read Frankenstein, but I was kind of like in love with the story. I've always loved the story around the book as well, like Mary Shelley creating a new genre and you know, writing it by the lake, writing scary stories with her friends. Yeah, I've always just really loved that. And I think I kind of romanticized it a bit in my head as well. So I was really nervous to pick up the book because although I kind of knew the basic premise of Frankenstein and I seen it within adaptations of things, I'd never read the original source material because I don't like classics. I don't get along with the language and it scares me. So when I picked this up a couple of Halloweens ago and I listened to the audiobook, I was really shocked at how much I loved it and I reread it again in 2023 and I'll probably reread it again this year. I just absolutely adore this story. Audible does a really great version of the audiobook as well with Dan Stevens as the narrator which is the one that I normally listen to um, and that is just so good but the story itself is just amazing. We're following this guy called Victor Frankenstein who becomes obsessed with the idea of like creating life uh, but then when he does create life, he immediately shuns his creation and then it's kind of like treated as a monster, does some pretty terrible things. And then it's a discussion about whether the creation is the monster or the creator is the monster because, you know, he just did what everyone expected of him. Victor probably could have done better. <laughs> and that's putting it mildly. Okay, colour number three. 
Oh my god, that's like a peachy orange. A, a peachy orange. I must have other things that are orange. I went back and watched the last video because I didn't want to recommend the same things. I'm glad I did because even though it's a different shade of orange, like the need to recommend Bunny to you is... I did that last time. I haven't read any of these orange things. Oh, I've read that. Oh, it's such a different shade of orange though. I feel like a peachy orange is going to be over in contemporary, but I don't see one. Or at least not one I've read. Oh, that could work. Excuse me, Mr. Skull. Okay, listen, we're not getting definite shades. This is like a peachy orange. Uh, apparently I don't own anything with a peachy orange. This is as close as I can get. It's so hard to tell because it's so bright. Maybe I should turn the brightness down. Mm. We're going to go with, okay? Because it's my... I was going to say it's my game, my rules. Yeah, it's my game, my rules. I'll do what I want. Okay. So this is Smashed. This is a short story collection by Junji Ito. Um, it's really hard to recommend this based on the content because it's short stories and I can't honestly remember which one is in which because I've read as many of them as I can get my hands on and I'm working on getting the rest. But I freaking love Junji Ito, okay? If you like horror and you like manga or if you want to get either into either, <laughs> I can't recommend Junji Ito enough. The guy has this way of drawing and it does not necessarily like terrifying but it's just really unsettling there are a few things that are proper creepy um i will say that's depending on like your horror tolerance because i know a friend of mine literally can't even look at genji oh because it freaks her out so much whereas i'm like there are a few stories that really creep me out but mostly i'm just here for the ride so it does depend on how you are with that sort of stuff but genji it just has a way of making things really creepy and unsettling um, which I love and because this is a short story collection it gives you a really good insight into how he works and how his mind works which is <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you ever see an interview with Junji Ito he is literally the sweetest human being you've ever seen in your life uh, the guy is scared of everything he did an interview where they were like are you scared of this and he was like yes and it was like a cat <laughs> which I feel you <laughs> but it's just so funny to me that he's just like this really soft-spoken man that says he's afraid of everything and then he writes stuff like this so just any excuse to recommend Junji O because uh, I'm a big fan okay color number three we're getting a lot of like oranges and pinks um, which is not gonna work for me so we're just gonna pretend that didn't come up okay okay that is looks really turquoise on there but it is like a green it's like a darkish green okay i must have green is there green that i've read surely surely what was it again oh a dark green dark green how is this possible okay we're gonna just have to grab something from here excuse me once again, I do not have anything this exact, like, bluey green shade. Like, this is the closest that I can get this heart song here. Um, oh, okay, so this is book three in the Green Creek series, which starts with Wolf Song. And it is about um, a werewolf pack and family and um, oh, just so much. It's just such a great series. And this happens to be my favourite book in the series. I can never really talk about it though because it's book three. So even telling you the kind of romantic pairing in this would be a massive spoiler. But, oh god, this series. It's just, TJ Klune just writes in a way that honestly just gets me right in the feels. And the way that he deals with the subject matter and the events of Heart Song perfection i love this book so much oh look i could have used this oh no i couldn't <laughs> it's green on the spine but not on the front so i couldn't have used that um and i could have used it anyway because i haven't read it okay so i reckon we can do one more that'll be a nice five 
this sort of colour is haunting me. Refresh. Oh god, that's just a really dark green. Why are we getting everything the same colour? Dark green, dark green. I haven't read that. That's a shame. Okay, so we've got like a dark green and we've got a dark green. It's probably darker, but like I said, we're not going to get an exact match. Okay. Lost Boy by Christina Henry. So this is one of the books in Christina Harry Harry's. <laughs> So this is one of the books in Christina Henry's like dark fairy tale series and this is the first one that I read so far even though I own so many of them I've only read this and The Girl in Red and this one I definitely preferred so this is the Peter Pan retelling and it is fantastic it's fantastic she made it so dark it does a really good job of making Peter the villain I just live for it. I kind of want to reread it, but also I feel like I should, you know, read the rest of the damn books first. Do you know what? Sod it. Let's do another one because I'm having fun now. Okay. <laughs> okay, but you need to give us something. Give me something. That's like a navy blue. A navy blue. Why is everything that would fit a book that I haven't read? Because you don't read your books. Is there such a thing as a navy blue book? There must be. People are probably shouting at me right now. Okay, so we're once again bending rules. There's our blue and blue, blue and blue here. So this counts. Yes, I'm aware this is volume seven and eight. Um, just go with it, okay? I'm recommending Tokyo Avengers because of course I am. So Tokyo Avengers is about this guy called Takamichi and he wakes up one day and finds that the gang that he used to be in part of when he was a teenager, which has become something really quite awful, has killed his high school girlfriend who he's never really kind of gotten over. And then something happens and he can go back in time and he's trying to save everyone. He's trying to save Hina, his high school girlfriend, whilst also trying to save all the people that he was in the gang with and trying to prevent them from becoming this terrible thing and it's just ah oh, it's just so good it's just so good like there's really good action there's a lot of heart in it and you genuinely just end up kind of loving everyone <sighs> I'm, I'm literally obsessed with that series so we couldn't do it for green but we've we've got it in there we've got it in how many have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh, okay, purple. 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 I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> oh, this would have been so good. This would work so well, but I haven't read it. So this is You'd Look Better as a Ghost by Joanna Wallace and it is um about a serial killer a part-time serial killer i got this in the bomb book club i haven't read it yet i really really want to and I, I really wish that i had so that i could recommend it but i'm just gonna wave it at you anyway so take it as like a half recommendation because i reckon it's going to be really good <laughs> night fever night fever oh that's purple this is actually a pretty good match uh, this is pretty good. So this is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. <sighs> I really freaking love this series. This is the first book in the Simon Snow series. And it's basically about Simon Snow, who is the chosen one. Um, but he kind of doesn't really have a lot of control over his abilities. And he goes to magic school and hates his roommate. Hates his roommate, Baz. And honestly, it's just, it's just such a good time. Like, I think it gets some stick because the magic system in this is... Um, like a little bit corny because it's like to do with words and the power of words so things like song lyrics and phrases can be used but I actually think that once you get into it you end up really liking that and just honestly these two and the story itself is so good and it's a three book series and each one deals with like some really great I'm gonna say topics but it's not really right so like this one is about 
being the chosen one and kind of what that entails and what that does to you and then um i can't really say anything about the other two because you know spoilers but oh my god i really love this series another one that i'm desperate for a reread and um we just take a second to appreciate this absolutely stunning edition because oh, oh if that wasn't a massive spoiler on that end paper i would show you because it's so pretty but yes simon snow is the worst chosen one who's ever been chosen that's the tagline but we love simon you should definitely read it if you haven't already oh go on let's do one more what have we got one two three four five six seven eight if we do eight that's exactly what i gave last time why is with the greens pretend that didn't happen guys okay um okay just pretend that didn't happen either <laughs> we've had that one pretty much we've pretty much had that one just close your eyes guys okay i'll tell you when we get one that we haven't already had just roll with it. Just pretend this isn't happening. Put some whole music over it. What's that? No, that's another shade of green. Is there no other colours? That's like a, a grey. That's like a dark grey. Like a lilac -y. No, it's a grey. It's grey. It's grey. It's grey. Oh, yes. Okay. Good. Perfect. Okay. Listen. <laughs> this shade of grey. If you take this light shade and this dark shade of grey and kind of merge them together, that would work. So just pretend it's one of those like paint mixing videos and that's the outcome. So therefore, I can recommend you Livius. This uh, is basically a whole series. So it's a three volume series. It's a complete bind up. There is a follow on series. Um, but this first series is about a guy called Livius who looks like this here's the guy from the front cover and this is set in alternate 19th century where there's kind of like been a war and during that war during war <laughs> during that war they have kind of like created cybernetic enhancements but using like steam power is that right i'm pretty sure it's right yes okay let me read this to you because it's doing a much better job it's the 19th century and the world has entered the era of rebirth. Recovering from the devastating flames of war, the sport of mechanical martial arts has galvanised the nations. Cybernetically augmented fighters turn their blood into steam and their bodies into brutal fighting and killing machines. Young Levius is one of those arena battlers hell-bent on winning in order to simply survive. And then there is like an underlying plot and things. And I don't know what's going to happen in the follow-on series and I really should start it. But I kind of also want to reread this before I do that, even though I didn't read it that long ago. But just, I'm a little bit obsessed with this and I want to kind of refresh my mind of the full story before I continue it. But if I show you the art style in here, you will understand, like, why I wanted to bend the colour rules a little bit to show you this. Because... <sighs> that's art that's just art so yes if that sounds interesting to you please think of picking it up it is a bit of an investment because you can only really get it in this bind up and it is fairly expensive but to be honest well i say that it's 25 quid for a hardback that is not too bad well that's the recommended retail price anyway other stores may vary. So once again, we have ended up with eight recommendations. Um, yeah, I've spoken about some of these quite a lot on the channel, but that's because I recommend them. So that's my eight recommendations. Yeah, I know. I cheated with some of the colours. Just remember that half rec as well, which funnily enough, I'm pretty sure I did a half rec last time as well. So eight recs and a half rec seems to be the way that I do this. <laughs> So that's it for this video if you have any thoughts on the books that i wrecked or if you're interested in picking them up let me know in the comments below or if you just want me to know you're here that purple heart is always appreciated thank you guys so so much for watching if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more content from me remember to hit that button leave a like if you want to and i'll see you in the next one bye